Today is the end of the COVID-19 public health emergency. Under this, millions of Americans were able to receive COVID vaccines, testing and treatment at no cost. Ending the declaration removes those benefits and a majority of the requirements for many state and federal agencies to report updates on the virus. NBC4's Sierra Johnson has been speaking with state health directors on what changes Ohioans can expect. Sierra. Yeah, Jen, for the last three years, the global pandemic has really impacted every aspect of our lives, but those numbers have fallen to almost pre-pandemic levels, and now some big changes are coming to the items you mentioned. Take a listen. The pandemic and the ever-changing rate of infection impacted how we learned, sought medical care, and even how and where we completed our 9 to 5. And starting Thursday, many of the protective measures put into place to keep Americans safe are going away. We are not dismantling our public health response capabilities or resources. We're simply evolving them uh, as the, the nature of this uh, pandemic is itself evolving. Dr. Bruce Vanderhoff, director of the Ohio Department of Health, says the state has reached its lowest rate of infection since March of 2020. He says with that change comes many others. One of the most noticeable, the access to free COVID tests. In a virtual address, Dr. Vanderhoff says the end of the health emergency also means some insurers won't cover tests. Another change, how states keep track of COVID-related data. According to the doctor, the COVID dashboard as we know it will change. These portals were critical in keeping the public updated on the ebbs and flows of COVID cases and deaths. Hospitals, for example, will now report fewer types of data and they'll do so less often. Because of these changes, Ohio's coronavirus dashboard, likewise, will undergo some consolidation in the coming weeks. But something that won't change, at least for now, Dr. Vanderhoff says the Ohio Department of Health has a sizable stock of vaccines they can give to an area of the state that needs them. And as for the coverage of vaccines? Vaccines will remain free for all. And Dr. Vanderhoff also mentioned something else that came out of all of this research and the pandemic. It was the testing of sewage and wastewater. He says moving forward, this program that is often funded by the CDC and the state will continue. It's a program where we can test the sewage and wastewater to predict future outbreaks or even future viruses. Something good to know there. We're local for you in downtown Columbus, Sierra Johnson, NBC4. All right, Sierra, thank you. The end of the emergency brings significant changes in how the U.S. US response to the virus. Hospitals are losing flexibility to rapidly add bed capacity if patient admissions surge. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is scaling back its efforts to track the virus. Now to the answer to today's fast feedback question. First at four, we asked, now that the public health emergency is over, do you feel like your life is back to normal since the pandemic began more than three years ago? So here's a look at the result. The majority of you, 38%, said your lives are somewhat back to normal. As always, we thank you for taking part.